Upon grace, everyone. My name is David Iagza. I'm here to testify on behalf of my elder brother abroad. On the 23 of March, in the hour of 12, I had a call from my younger one that my brother and his friend was arrested. So the message looked strange and it gave me, it made me to be bothered. So the next thing, my brother called me again that I should call my pastor. I said, okay, I've heard you. So I was confused in my working place. I couldn't do anything. The only thing I could do, I just bowed down my head and prayed. I said, God, don't allow people to laugh at me. That was the only thing I said. So the next thing, I called Pastor P.I.A. Obaseki, and I told him what was going on. And he told me that, no problem, it is well. So the next thing, he told me that I should send him his name, which I did. So after about two hours, I saw that he replied me with a text message that, no problem. So I, I was thinking that maybe there will be something more than that, but I just said, okay, well, no problem. So I relaxed my mind. After two hours, my junior one that called me, called me again that my brother said they have released him. Tell your neighbor, discharge and acquainted. I remember actually about this matter. Yes. Test me the name. I test me the name. I look at it. I said, no problem. Here you are. Being. All I said to the name was, now be discharged and acquainted. Period. Brother, we give thanks to God. You have been a member of this church, and God can never allow you to be disgraced. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. So what yes, advice sir. do you have to give us now? My advice to give everyone that are listening to me here today, just as our spiritual father normally said that, Pray without ceasing. Pray because you don't know when the trial will come. Maybe you may not be able to pray. May God bless us in Jesus' name.